guys, welcome. Today we're playing some Minecraft Season 2. Yeah, Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. So yeah, uh, we're playing since Episode 1. We're not playing Season 1, Episode 1. We're playing Season 2, Episode 1. So yeah, um, but I have played only Episode 1 of Season 1. So, <coughs> uh, yeah, I'm sorry guys if my voice sounds a little weird. But yeah. So, uh, let's play as him, you know? Why not? Alright, here we go. Ooh, I have downloaded, I have all episodes, but we're gonna play with episode one, of course. Alright, here we go. Episode one. Hero in a residence. I'm planning to record a, a whole, uh, the whole episode. So yeah, you know. Here we go. It's loading. Real quick. Alright, and... Oh uh, yeah, this game adapts to the choices you make. The story is tolerated by how you play. Right. I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a tree house looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world, and their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. Oh, uh-huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. <laughs> Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah, I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. It's your call, Luke. Uh, yeah, but it might be yeah, think for a good story. stuff we didn't actually do. It's all fair game if it's helping you to tell a good story. It's not like you're lying to, like, trick anyone. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. what I thought. <laughs> if you're planning on including schematics, we should talk, though. I think I'm okay. I had been hoping to have it ready to read a founding day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's founding day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. It took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were all there. For uh, most of it, anyway. That's all right, true. yeah. We did it together. Um, hey, come on, guys. We all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, you're in turn. Jesse? Oh, hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, it's sincerest, cool, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. Radar, cool. don't be so formal. Cut it out with all the sir and ma'am stuff. Righto, right. Awesome. I kind of liked it. So, what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice. We should get going. Yeah, uh, about that. We actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for. Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging oh. a TNT rally in the morning. And 
I need to finish grading some redstone assignments. All right, that's okay, man. Hoping to start in on these revisions. Oh, that's that's okay. okay. I get it. You have your life, and so do I. Oh, thanks, Jackie. Yeah, thanks. Petra will never let you hear the end of it, though. Tell Petra I said next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the order hall with the order. <laughs> ah, so freaking cute. <laughs> oh, uh, that's a cutscene right there. <clears throat> I'm sorry for my voice. And I think I probably told you this is a walkthrough I am going to make. Not 100%. So the other so, yeah. towns have founding day celebrations, huh? Yeah, man. We honor Magnus every year with a freaking awesome memorial explosion rally. He would have loved it. Over in Redstonia, we're a little lighter on the explosions. I helped Eligard engineer an excellent new music machine for the evening ball. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah. All right, I'll see you again, guys. I am I'll going see to you. see you all again. Same yeah. Same time next week. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Yeah, wait. Axel. I tell ya, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town. Minecraft Season 2 Story Mode. Oh, and a parry. Ha ha. A telltale story by Eric Stripe and Brian Freeman. Can we skip this? Uh, oh, sorry. Let's resume it. <laughs> These episodes are kind of long, so yeah. <clears throat> uh, my throat. with your friends but I'm really glad you're our leader you just make this place awesome I love you know, adventure there, adventuring that's good too I mean I guess I've never <laughs> really been the adventuring type myself too uh, too dangerous I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration I'll keep that in mind all right, so, um, oh, all right, there's a statue. Wait, just let me go to my settings real quick. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that should be good. good. All right, uh, let's go to gameplay. Controls, sensitive, no, can I go like, gameplay, I guess, uh, display, uh, minimal. Standard, but can I go to the? I can't. Oh. All right. The sensitivity. I'll have to stick with this. All right. Let's, let's see. Let's look. Let's look at the octopus. Let's see what's, what's that. What's that about? Craving seafood? Always. Huh. Hi. He's just like, why did you build that octopus again? Jesse, dude! What's up? No, I thought you were out seeing the worlds. Did that? Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though. Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. You picked a great town, man. Oh, to sorry, sorry. Junk, okay? Well, you picked a great spot. Pretty proud of this town. Yeah, dude, it is awesome. Letting everybody be themselves. Super individualistic. House over there that looks like a squid. Righteous. <laughs> Righteous. I mean, you and me, I'm worried that I won't like it here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make like a good first impression, you know? Which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. 
Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business! Alright, here we go. Let's build some of this. I had to. Alright. Alright, let's get some of this. Blank canvas. Alright, so use your inventory. Oh, alright, I get this. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh. The placing item. Alright, alright. I get it. Alright, so we're gonna make like a. Uh, I don't know, an octopus? I guess. Okay, so. Let's place a block. No, not right here. Like, I don't know what to build, alright? Let's build a tree, you know? I just saw a tree in the background, and I was like, why not a tree? Oh, I might have messed it up. Alright, I messed up. I'm sorry, I messed up. Like, these controls I'm not used to so much. Because I've never played Minecraft. Storm mode. <coughs> alright, uh... Right here, let's let's build you a tree, all right? You know. Nope. Nope. Okay, it's it's build a build. No, no, no. All right, right there. And let's get some green clay. All right, and be like right here. <gasps> I'm not good at building. All right. Pretty bad. <laughs> uh, right there. Oh, ho, ho. no! Oh god, these controls are like messing me up. What am I supposed to do? Right, I, th I think I finished. Uh, yeah, come on, almost there. All right, that that no. <sighs> right, finish your tree. Yes, that such is perfect. That is some sweet work. Nice. Oh, Jesse, dude, thanks! It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, me amigo. And don't be a stranger, okay? Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free spirited. <laughs> <laughs> kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the. Mineshaft. Mm hmm. Alright, let's go to the mineshaft. But I saw Stampy right here. Let's talk to Stampy. Whoa! Wink, get back here. Leave Jesse alone. Hello there, Jesse. I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. I'm surprised you're here. <laughs> um, the thrill of adventure, I guess. And the stories of this place sounded awesome. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, Wink. Here, Jesse, give him a bone and he'll calm right down. Give him a bone. Nice, tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Ha, <laughs> yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're gonna need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. <laughs> yeah, the person. She's dancing right behind us. I thought you saw it, but I'll try to I'll see you when I'm editing it. All right, can I run? Wow. Hello. Ooh. Ruben. Oh no. The Ruben Memorial. Best pig that ever lived. I miss you, buddy. Oh, man. I wish I could have met Reuben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. He was yeah, my best friend, he was my yeah. my best friend. Still miss him. Aww. Oh, my gosh, it's you. Oh, yep, it's me. What are, what are you doing here? Oh, wow, this is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Uh, would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? <coughs> Who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? Oh, uh, sorry. Oh, sorry, I just really don't have a lot of time. It's true. Very busy schedule today. Okay, okay. Uh, that's fine. I understand. I'll see you around. I feel really sorry for that guy. 
There's a moldy man sitting. All right. All right. Oh. Talk to citizen. What's up? Jesse. Oh, hey, hey. Look who it is. Jesse. Hey. Hey guys, what are you doing? Glad you asked. We're working on a new game for Founding Day that I guarantee you is going to be all the rage this year. Slime diving. Oh. Want to give us a hand finishing it up? I'll let you take the first dive. Bob designed the schematic, didn't you, Bob? Yep. It's uh, cool. All right. <sighs> awesome. Let's do it. We're going to be diving off this excellent pagoda Bob designed, but we can't decide what material to use. Thoughts? All right. I'm so. I'm just conflicted because I like all of them. We yeah, know you do, Bob, but, but some. Don't work. Jesse's gonna help us settle wood this. or pink wool? Uh, let's go with What's wood, so it looks a little choice? bit. Let's go with that. Yeah. Oh, we're all building it. All right, here we go. Oh my God! Nice. That turned out great. And just like I promised, you can take the first dive. All right. Just aim for the slime. It'll be great! Uh, swan go dive? <laughs> Let's go belly flop. <laughs> Woohoo! Ta-da! Thanks, everyone. Jesse, <laughs> that was incredible. Seriously, amazing dive! Thank you for that, thank you for the help before. No problem. Look, my friend's waiting, so I gotta run, but nice work. Alright, let's go. These guys are tired. I can't walk over there, I see. Can I walk through here? Meet with Petra. Okay, let's meet with Petra. Oh, that's how you do it. All right. This sounds. This town's pretty beautiful. Dude, what's over here? Let's look at the garden. Let's go look at the garden. Huh? What a lovely garden. I'm sure that referenced somebody. I, I'm. I just think. All right. Her her her. Let's go to the mines. Meet with and Petra. Here we are at the mines. Nice. Thanks for walking with me. Of course. I wish we could have helped a couple more people get ready. I mean, founding day is all about how you took down the wither storm and all. I'll uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. Risking your life. Just stop, stop worrying, so man. Much, stop, stop worrying. I can do that. It's so simple. Just stop worrying. Oh God, I am wish I, I did. It? I'll, I'll work on it. Bye. Have a good time. Don't I always? I feel really sorry for saying that to Radar. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I'm just checking if my mic's, mic's on. Petra. Huh, I swear she said to meet right here. Petra! Where are you? Boo. Oh, oh, this is new fighting style there. Oh, I miss this. <laughs> oh, smell not so much. All right. Okay. So use to uh, how to move and X to attack. All right. Let's go. So we have our stamina. It's like the little electric thing. Look at that. Punctual and kicking butt. Nice. Hey to you too, Petra. <laughs> hey, glad to see you remember how to use your sword. I was worried you'd gotten rusty. I can't even imagine that life. Managing people, signing it's, papers. It's been a while, you know. Yeah, I guess it has been a while since I've done this. Well, that's obvious. You're not even wearing a good suit of armor. I didn't want to dent the good stuff, so what? Look who's talking with an iron sword. Where's your fancy gold one with all the enchantments? Can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... Lost me. <laughs> Deadheads should help you dust off those cobwebs. <laughs> 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 
Too slow, zombies. Typical. All right, let's go. No, no, no. Move that way. All right, yeah, let's do this. Well, you sure showed me. I must say, I really appreciate you making it on time. It means a lot to me. I sometimes worry you don't have time for your friends anymore. I know you enjoy your job or whatever. Not that I'm trying to make you feel guilty or anything. Friends are more important. Come on. Okay, now you're just trying to flatter me. But, uh, can't help but notice that we're missing one, two, three. Axel has boomtown duties. Olivia's grading something or other in Redstonia, and Lucas is writing. I figured, man, friends have gotten lame. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now, I'm just saying, I don't care how good Lucas's next book is. It's not exactly slang. You're right. Come on. You're yeah. right. You're right. It is lame. It just isn't the same without them. See? I knew you'd get it. We'll worry about them later, I guess. <clears throat> what right. exactly are we looking for down here? I'll tell you when we find it. Just trust me. It's important. All right. It's a llama. Oh. What was that? Come on. Let's race. I Wait, think that's what? a llama. It's monster hunting time! Alright, are we gonna... Oh ha ha! Hey, it's Jesse! What's up? Good to see ya! Oh, perfect, <laughs> I'm starving. Ha <laughs> Oh crap. I just lost a heart, didn't I? Get down! It's gonna blow! Dodge that man, yes. Dodged it. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Where'd you go? Where'd what go? Ha! Look down there! So you're really not gonna tell me what we're chasing? Nope. Mystery is what makes it fun. Come on. All right. <clears throat> All right. Wait, oh, behind us. Wow, that's a lot of zombies. Wait, is she just going to leave me? Oh, no. All right. I see him. What? When? Why are there so many mobs? Come on, like it's light around, or maybe they just found lava, you know? Oh God, so many spiders! Help me! Oh God, when were there many? When were there so many spiders? God, run! I need to jump! I need to jump for this. Yeah, haha. <laughs> the spider fell in the lava. All right. There, it went into that cave. On it. That animal. <coughs> Llamas are yeah, fast. Petra's in the home stretch. That's a lot of lava. More of these guys. Let's help Petra. You know why not? Let's, let's be helpful. I turn to save you, Petra. Yeah, let's do this. All right, let's go. Whoa, 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 man, chill out. I'm not. Gotcha. These guys aren't nothing for me. I'm the best. I am quite rusty, okay? Just, just saying. I wish I could make the sensitivity a little bit better. No! Oh god. Why is she red? Well, because of the lava, I think.
Ha ha. Woo, that totally did the trick. Ah, see ya. Hey, no fair. Why is she red? <laughs> I think I have a my like it up. Oh, okay, yeah. come on. In your mm -hmm. face. Petra, Petra. Uh, yeah, Cheater I saved it. I totally saved you back there. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're right. Sorry. I shouldn't be gloating. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> sure you are. <laughs> better live up to all the hype. Right, come, mystery monster. Yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> let's kill it. Let's go. All right, I can't control where I'm going. Oh, my throat. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice is a little weird. It's that I come. I'm kind of sick, but you know. Let's keep going. All right. I'm just worried that you won't hear me. Let's go to audio and let's put the, you know, that, that should be fine. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lower my volume a little. That should be it. All right. A llama? A llama? <laughs> awesome, we found it. Oh, your owner is gonna be so happy to see you. Wait, let me get this straight. This quest was just to track down a stupid llama? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> it's not just a stupid llama. It's uh, it's important, okay? It's apparently like a uh, treasure sniffing llama, or uh, it's important, okay? Please, just trust me. We just need to bring her back to her owner. Okay, I trust you. I'm I'm trusting you, right, Petra? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. If you say it's important, then I trust you. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how about we get you out of here, huh? All right. Uh, make smoochy noises. I don't know. Come on, come on. <laughs> I'm done. I'm excited. Oh God. <laughs> That's what you get for wearing that dork armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just have to craft a new set. Don't let it get away. Just grab them. <laughs> the bomb is crazy. Come on. Nope, nope. Please don't spit out of me. No! <laughs> it's spitting in my face. Hang on. It's super dark down there. We should make a torch. Do you have enough materials? Oh, you do. All right. Guys, don't worry. I play Minecraft. I know how to make it, right? Wait, no. No, you, 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 yeah. Select. No, 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 yeah, but like. Right, so like, how do I like, I, um. No, yeah, <laughs> that's not my question. Open your recipe book. Um. How do I do this? I press. Uh, wait, how do I do this? It isn't working. All right, so press this and then this. Oh, right here. I press the gold right here and then I press the sticks right here. And that, that should equal the torch, you know? Four torches, right? I think that should equal four torches. Here, lava, lava, lava. Where'd you go? <coughs> After you. Mayor Jesse? Told you I'm not the mayor. I'm the leader and hero in residence. I know, I know. It's just that you do a lot of paperwork and like town running things. I'll shovel. There you are. <laughs> How the heck did you get up there? Who knows, but it's coming down now. He's mad. He's mad. No! Oh my. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, look at that fist. God. All right. <clears throat> I don't know what is that. One way to find out. Whisper. Uh, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Can I grab it? Oh, God. What is it? Some sort of glove? Gauntlet? Looks like it's made out of prismarine. A prismarine? But you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. Let's, let's pick it up. Oh god, is it is it stuck to my is it stuck to my fist? Uh, oh god. It, where what is this thing? <laughs> yeah. It looks kind of okay. Actually, it looks really cool. Okay, maybe maybe it has like powers. You never know. Right maybe it has. Uh, I don't know, like powers or something. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't know. It's too bad it didn't come with an instruction. <laughs> yeah, that'd be really great. Well, uh, here, I'll help you take it off. <laughs> come on, I want to get it off of me. Really stuck. I just can't shake this feeling that maybe you were meant to find that gauntlet. Like <gasps> maybe it was your destiny or something. <laughs> yeah, I hope it's not a curse. It's not like a curse. That's usually what leaves things stuck to you, right? <laughs> yeah. Until you die. But nope, nope. Which isn't what's happening here. I hope. <laughs> Oh, please, I don't want to fall. I don't want to fall. Oh, God. Hey, now, what the oh. heck is that thing? <sighs> huge mouth in the ground? Some sort of heck mouth? Sure, yeah, heck mouth. <laughs> I don't think I can see the bottom. Ugh, give me the willies. And what's that sound coming from down there? Uh, drop, drop grave. I'm going to drop gravel, not <laughs> grave. Get all of this. Start building it. What is that? Not sure, but I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. On second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but here. Not getting out the way we came, though. We could just break it. You know, Gramble is, is break. Oh, yeah. look at that hole right there. Let's go. Let's get out of there. Get some of those blocks. Oh no, we don't need any blocks. Or do we? No. Wait. How could you climb that? I don't know. But you know, whatever. Whatever. Oh. These episodes are really long. Oh, I feel like they're long. I made it home. I'm so close to Beacon Town. Beacon Town. <laughs> Maybe you could leave a warning or something. Uh, top secret. Uh, warning, Hecma. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Warning, heck no. Straight to the point. I like it. <sighs> okay, then. <clears throat> what do we do about all this? Well, it's all made of prismar, right? And you only find that... Well, I thought I was hearing something, but uh, no. It's just a game. All right. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about Prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that happen. All right, I can't wait to meet him. If he can hit, if he can help me. Perfect. I can't wait to meet this guy. Knew you'd be excited. Yes. And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. First, I really need to deal with this llama. Okay. Come on, you. Gotta get you home. What about me? Man, this thing won't come off. I, yeah, I, I know, I know. But this llama. Why is that llama so important to you? <sighs> you know my sword, gold one with all the enchantments. Miss Butter? Yeah, I, I, kind of got tricked by this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while, and. Now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this. It's uh, it's been not great. <laughs> That's so unfair. That's terrible. It's so unfair. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more. So yeah, her, her name's Stella. Kind of obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure sniffing llama. I heard. She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like Champion City right over there? I had no idea the leader was like that. Yeah, she's ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating. Without my sword, I just really need to get it back. I understand you. Actually gives it back this time. We're a team. Order of the Stone Petra. Looking out for each other is what we do. That's yeah. Fun. Thanks, Jesse. Come on. Can't wait to meet this Stella myself. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. And fresh <coughs> oh, sorry. Sort out that heck mouth and get this thing off my hand. Yeah. This might be the end of the episode. No, this is not. All right. Well. Ah. Ha ha ha. <laughs> that llama looks derpy though. This is it. Champion City. Every single one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. I prefer Beacon Town. Quite my taste. I prefer what we're doing in Beacon Town. Yeah, Stella always wants everything exactly her way. It doesn't matter how other people want to build. That's why I like Beacon Town better too. Come on, Llama. We're almost there. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind of know how she feels. I just really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't most times. I'm not going to say anything. Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the court. That was kind of awkward. Okay. Well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. Well, guys, I am very sad, but today we will have to end the episode. And yeah, you know, uh, I'll see you guys later. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, I guess. Uh, goodbye, I hope you enjoy it, and yeah, this is part one, uh, I'll make part two, I don't know when, but I'll make it anytime now, so yeah guys, I'll see you guys later, and goodbye!